Okay, good evening everyone. Welcome. Thank you very much for coming and joining us on this uh, Sunday evening as we welcome in Dr. Eli Yudel, Irving Fishbaum, Mo Kushner, Eddie Kazan, uh, Marshall Castle, who was conquering the pickleball court today, uh, Itchy, Shimmy Klein, Baruch Ian, A.B. Spry, Michal, Saba, and uh, Dr. Guy, Aaron Swade, back from the shul dinner, good for you. Menachem Yamansky, Yitzhi Fuchs, Moshe um, Lehman, Elia Shutman, Rabbi Kranz, Naftali Javelin, Shelley Zeitlin, this might be Menach, uh, Nachman, I'm not sure. Uh, and uh, we're going to be joined, I know, by Ruvain Shannet and, uh, and uh, here in the shul. David Helfgott is joining us in Kol Roshan here in the shul. We have uh, Rib Kramer and uh, Michal Avram, Avram Rezepkowitz, uh, Gedalia Engel, Rib Kraus. Uh, good to have you back. We've been missing you greatly. Um, we uh, are sponsored by A.B. Spry for Nachas, from long-term Nachas from his whole family by Michal Avram that we should all learn Shas with Gesund. We welcome in Stephen Holtzman on this 27th day of the Amr, 27th Limatmonim, towards the treasure, Lemim Tesmonim. Um, we uh, are holding by the two dots on the bottom of Peyamid Bays, uh, Tanan Hosam, which is five lines from the bottom, five lines from the bottom of that Peyamid Bays. Tanan Hossam, um, we learned, we learned, uh, Amalei Shoyel, uh, if, if the, if the, the Shoyel is the borrower, the bar borrower says, Shlach, send me the animal. So let's see, who would do that? Marshall. Marshall tells A.B., send me the animal. The Shilcha. And A.B. sent him the animal, Umesa, and it died on the way, Chayev. Uh, Marshall is Chayev, because once he told him to send it, so uh, he accepted responsibility, uh, and, and uh, he's Chayev. Now, and the same thing applies if uh, Marshall returns it, and the lender, that's A.B., says, Marshall, you could return it to me. So then A.B. now accepts the Achrayis, and uh, it's A.B.'s responsibility. But that's only because A.B. said, send it. That's only if he sends it back within the time period. In other words, he borrowed it for a month, and he sent it back after three weeks. But if he sends it, uh, if he sends it back uh, after the time of the loan, even after, even if he doesn't send it back, even if it dies in Marshall's house, Potter, because once the time of the uh, borrowing terminates, he's not Chayev and Einzim anymore. It's a very big Kiddush. But that's what Rashi says. Rashi says that even 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 if it dies in Marshall's house, once the, the 30 days are uh, over, he's not anymore a Shoyal, he's not Chayev and Einzim. Rav Nachbar Papa, Moshe Rav Papa. So Rav Nachbar Papa asks from our Mishnah. We learned in our Mishnah, Vikulin Sheamru. In all these cases, where uh, I gave Marshall my pickleball racket to repair, so he said, Vikulin Sheamru Toil Eshelcha Vahave Mois. Once he says, pick up your racket and bring me the money. But that implies only if he, he says, pick it up. If he said, I finished it, and he didn't say, uh, pick it up, he just said, I finished it, 
uh, says the Gemara, it implies that he's still a Shemir Sacher, even though he said he finished it. So once he said he finished it, the, the term of uh, an Uman is over, and yet we still say he's a Shemir Sacher, and if it gets stolen or it gets lost, he's Chayim. Says the Gemara Lai. What it's telling you is, is that if Marshall says, Ha have mais with Taylor Shulcha, Rabbi Weiss, bring the money and then you'll get yours. Ah, so then he's using my pickable racket as a guarantee to get his money, then he's a Shaymasach. Avol Gemartiv, if he didn't do that, he just said, I finished it. So what are we going to say that then he's taka shemechinam my shemechinam? So then why doesn't the Mishnah say a bigger chiddush? He added tani bekulin shamru tala shelcha. Instead of saying where if he says take your money, take your racket, bavi mice, and bring me the money, it should have said even a bigger chiddush. If he just says gemartiv. Shemichinam nishminam gemartiv. He should say even if he just said I finished it. Because shechain toil eshelcha. And surely if he says take your pickleball racket, says the Gemara. No, I might think that if he says come and pick it up, maybe he's not even a shemichinam. I might think toil eshelcha it's trichale. So could I think I might have thought that shemichinam nami loyavi. Once he says. Take what take what's yours, pick it up. Maybe he's not a shamer at all. Shmami no, that he he, he remains Kamashman, that he remains a Shemachina. Ikadam, right? Is a little bit of a different version. Excuse me. Igadamre. I'm going to knock my papa. Afa namitanina. Here he's bringing a raya instead of asking a kasha. Vikulan she'amru tol el All the cases where Marshall said, Rabbi Weiss, pick up your pickable racket. Vahavi ma'is. Shaymachinam. Gemara is assuming that the same thing is true where he said, Gemartiv, my love, who had been Gemartiv. If he says, I finished it, he's uh, it, it, also a Shemachinam. Says, well, no, loy, toila shalcha shani. If he says, take what is yours, so then he's terminating his uh, relationship, and then he's a uh, Shemachinam. But maybe if he sa- just said, Gemartiv, he remains a Shemesach. Huna mar bar marema kame de ravina. Huna mar, the son of marema, uh, who was before ravina, rami masnis and adadi. He asked a contradiction on mish, mishnas, omishani, and he faremfered it, and he answered it. Tanan. Take what's yours. So he's terminating the, the, the relationship. And the same thing would be if he says, I completed it. If the uh, lender, that's Marshall, who's lending the animal from, but Marshall was borrowing the animal from Abi, Amalei Shail Shlach, if Marshall says, send it to me, Vishilcha Umesa, and it died on the way, Chayiv, Marshall is Chayiv, Vichain Vishash Marzira, in the event that Abi says, return it to me, then Abi is uh, going to be responsible. But it's only because Abi said, return it to me. Uh, but if the Abi didn't say, return it to me, then it remains. Uh, it, it, it remains Marshall's responsibility, even though it, the, the the term was terminated. Well, and he answers, That's only if he returns it during the inside the term of the uh, agreement. So there, if the thirty days weren't up yet. So unless A.B. said, return it to me, Marshall is going to be chayef. 
But after the term is over, after 30 days, then even if it dies in Marshall's house, he's potter. So the same thing is true. If he said, I finished it, he's going to be potter. He's not going to be a Shemus Sacher anymore. So now the Gemara asks an interesting question. So he said, when, 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 We said that if Marshall Marshall borrowed for me an axe. Now, I, please don't ask what he's doing with the axe. Don't ask. Uh, will you wipe that glee off your face? Never. Sorry, I'm late, Rabbi. I was hiding behind Marshall. <clears throat> Better to say you got stuck on a piece of bubble gum. Um, so anyway I'm telling you such a cast of characters I got over here um, the uh, we aim to please yeah I mean Eddie is looking from Eddie where are you now in Timbuktu I'm afraid to hear this hey, he's still Arkansas he's in Arkansas He's, he's Mamish and Atlas. This guy's an Atlas. I'm going to get a map and we're going to pin Eddie. Tomorrow, he's tomorrow he's going to be in Wyoming. And the next day. Oh, I want to sell him tires. Uh, anyway. I'm going to supply your tires, Eddie. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Um. Sounds good for my, you know, for my Eilam. I have people in Arkansas and in Kentucky and in, it, I don't tell everybody, everybody it's the same person. <laughs> They're listening from Kentucky, from Arkansas, from Atlanta, from... <laughs> isn't, isn't that on us, Tavaro? <laughs> anyway, my, no, you don't mean on us, Tavaro. You mean Geneva Sadas. But anyway... Um, Assuming somebody is fast, correct. Right. Um, so, okay, so we said that if I give Marshall a loan of a uh, Staunton chess set for 30 days, so we said that after the 30 days of over, are over, he's not Kayev in Einsam uh, anymore. Is he Kayev at least like a Shemir Sacher? And always would he be chayv in Geneva Vaveda? So he bailahu. Potter Mishael, he's exempt when the term is finished from the responsibility of Einsim, of a borrower, the chayv kishem is sacher, and he's chayv like a paid watchman. Oidom Hashem is sacher, now he loy have. Omer Amemer, so Amemer says, Mistavra Potter Mishael, he's exempt from being a shayel, but the chayv kishem is sacher. Why? Hoyel, since Venena, since he benefited from my chess set, he won a bunch of games. Uh, so therefore, Mahanav, therefore, since he benefited, he provides me benefit as well, and he, he accepts the responsibility at least of a Shemesach. Tani Kavasi Da we have a bright like a Maimer, Alakach Kalim Abesa Uman, when you buy. Uh, utensils from the craftsman, the shagram the base come up. What happens is, is the chassan buys a, um, a a bash from the woman to send it to his father. Now he doesn't know if the kala wants to bake bake challah or not. So he stipulates the amalite. He tells the uh, seller, on mimani if they'll accept it. She wants to bake challah. I'll pay you money. The imlav, if not, then I'll pay you the fact that they got the 
I got benefit that they saw that I wanted to give her a present. So at least that's called Tevis Hanot. I'll give you the uh, small amount of benefit I got that they saw that I wanted to send an expensive present. The Imlav, if not, uh, I'll give you the uh, the benefit that I got that they saw that I wanted to give a present. Venensu and uh, the 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 stuff, the bash got destroyed by an oinus. Uh, there was there was a, a, a earthquake, and it got swallowed up. Balicha on the way there, Chay. Bechazira on the way back, Potter. Why? Mibneshu um, Kenoise Sacher. Because on the way back, he's only like a paid watchman, and this was an Oynes. But we see that on the way back, we don't say that he's like a Shemachina, we say that he's like a Shemachina. Because he got, he, 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 he got some benefit. You know, he got the Tevis and therefore he has a din like an, at least the Shema Zacher. So that's a raya that when Marshall b- benefited from having it uh, for 30 days, my Staunton chest set, so even after the 30 days that he's not Chai Venoinsen, he's he is a Shema Zacher. How Gavra, uh, now whenever it says How Gavra, it means Marshall. It's, right? So, Ha'u Gavra, that guy, that guy, uh, that guy, the Zavon Lechamra Lechavre, uh, he, Marshall, sold to Mark a donkey. So, Amale, so Mark is a wheeler dealer. And Mark tells Marshall that. I'm bringing the donkey to Bela Kinwood. He misdavna mutiv if I sell it good. Vilai if not mahadra nei mehalach. If not, I'll return it to you. Also, he brought it to Bela Kinwood. Vilai is davna. He wasn't able to sell it. And as he was returning it to Marshall, Isness, an Oynes happened, and the animal died. So also the comment of Rav Nachman, they came before Rav Nachman, and would you believe Rav Nachman sided with Marshall? It's amazing. Also the comment of Rav Nachman, and they made Mark pay for it. But wait a second. We learned that on the return trip, the person only has a din of a shayma sacher. Here, the return trip, it was an inus, and we're making Mark pay. Look at Mark covering his face. He's in, he's in shock. So, Eisrei, Eisrei, Rabbi Rav Nachman, Nensu, we said if an inus happened, Bali Chachayim, on the way there, Yechayim, but Bechazar, Potter, on the way back, Yechayim, Potter, Mib Neishu, Ken Eisrei, Sacher, and Eisrei, Sacher is not Chayim, and Einsen. Says, you want to know over here, even on the return trip, Mark is ready to sell it any place, any place he meets somebody. So therefore, and there's no return trip. As long as Marshall could possibly sell it, if he finds a as long as Mark could possibly sell it, if if, if he finds a buyer, it's like on the way there, and therefore he's still Chayim and Einstein. Right, Mark, you never gave up on selling it. Uh, Although Mark looks like he's pretty pretty, pretty tired. Um, Mark's return is going there. My timer. Svarahu. It's logical. On the return trip, if he found somebody to buy it, wouldn't he sell it? So the whole thing, until he gets it back to Marshall, is like the way there, because he could constantly try to sell it. Now, says the Gemara, uh, Shmurli, Shmurli, if, if, now before we learn this next Gemara, 
I want to tell you a halacha about a shayel. A halacha about a shayel is that when Marshall borrows my pickable racket and I uh, am playing with him pickable for money against other people and an inus happens to my pickable racket, Marshall is part. Because there's a special uh, loophole and that is Balov Imai Potter. If the owner is with him at the time when the Inus happens, he's Potter. So let's say Marshall borrows from me a shovel, and I'm working together with him in the, in the courtyard. So that has a din of Baal of Imai and it's Potter. Now, with that in mind, let's see the next Gemara. Um, Shmoli, I tell Marshall, watch my uh, vacuum cleaner, the Eshmer Lecha, and I'll watch your snowblower. So shame Yisachar. Why? Because uh, for watching my vacuum cleaner, I'm going to watch his snowblower. So he's getting paid for it. So therefore he's a shame Yisachar, and therefore if it gets stolen or lost, he's chayv. Now that sounds like a simple halacha. But ask Yamara if, if this is happening at the same time, that while he's watching my uh, vacuum cleaner, I'm watching his snowblower, then that's a din of Baal of Imai, that the owner is working with him. Vamai, shmira bebalamu. It's an example of where he's watching it when its owner is working for him, because he's watching my va vacuum cleaner, but I'm working for him. I am uh, watching his snowblower. So Rapapa gives a simple answer. It's not talking about at the same time. It's not talking about simultaneous. It's talking about where I said to Marshall, watch my vacuum cleaner, and later I'll watch your snowblower. So he's a shame sacher, but it's not by Levima. And that's what it says, I'm Rapapa, Domali Shmarli Ayayim, Adamale, I tell them, watch it for me today, and I'll watch your snowblower tomorrow. So it's not Balavimai. We have another case where the Gemara gives the same explanation. Uh, um, can I really trouble you to get me some more water? Sure. Yeah. I knew I needed more. Thank you. Um, I wanted to say at the beginning of the year that uh, we should learn for this young man who is in Iran. So far, he's been having Rachmei uh, Shemayim. That first his execution was pushed off from Shabbos. It was supposed to be this Monday. And now I hear it was pushed off another month. So uh, it seems to be that this, that the tefillahs are helping. But we should have in mind, you know, the Gemara Baba Basra and Dav Chesam at base, which we're going to get up to soon, it's the next Masech that we're going to be learning, says that Pidyan Shvuyim is a mitzvah rabba. It's, it's one of the greatest mitzvahs in the Torah. And this is included in Pidyan Shvuyim, a person. What? 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 My wife. Hello? How do you sleep? I sleep great. Uh -oh. Yes, I'm back from the bathroom. The bathroom, by the chance, I'm out of breath. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, so, Tan Rabbanan. So, we're going to learn for Arvin Natanel Ben Sonia Tsiona. He should be released and, and uh, be out of the grips of the Rishon.
So it says the Gemara Tan Rabbanan, Shmar Liv Eshmar Lecha. I tell Marshall, watch it for me and I'll watch it for you. Hashilani, lend me, lend me something, the Ashilcha, and I'll lend you something. Shmurli, watch it for me, the Ashilcha, and I'll lend you something. Hashilani, lend it to me, the Eshmolcha, and I'll watch for you. So you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Kulan, in all these cases, since the service is done, Nasser, Shemre, Sacha, Zelazeh, they become a Shemre, Sacha, one for the other. But the question is, but why one is in the employ of the other, and it should be the heter of Balavimai, Vamai Shmira Babalani, Amra Papa, again, the Amale Shmoli Hayyim, watch it for me today, the Eshma Lechala Macher, and I'll watch it for you tomorrow, so it's not happening at the same time. Now, Hano Aluye. Aluye, aloes, was commonly used for detergent. Now, here we're talking about uh, they, they, they were either uh, peddling detergent or be- uh, 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 aluye could also be a type of perfume. Uh, aloe, which is a perfume. So either they were an Avon lady or a detergent salesman. So I know Aluye, they had a guild. These, these salesmen had a guild. The Kul, the Kul Yuma every day have an awful chad minayu. Every day one of them would bake bread for the group. You know, one, of them would, that, one of them would provide, and they did it on a rotation, one of them would bake bread for the group. How Yuma, on, on one day, Amrulay the Chad Minayu, they used to appoint a different person every day. So How Yuma, on this day, Amrulay the Chad Minayu, they told one of the, the guild, Zilafilanu, go and bake for us. Amalahu, so he said to them, Nitchali Glimai. Watch for me my cloak. I'll go and bake. Watch for me my cloak. So Ada Osa, in the meantime, uh, before he came back, while he was busy baking the bread, Poshuba, they were negligent. They didn't watch it. The Ignov, and it got stolen. So now they wanted to know, are they chayif to pay him for the cloak? So also the coming to Rapapa. They came before Rapapa, Chayvinu. So Rapapa said, look, you were negligent, so you're chayif to pay. Now, the problem was, but it's a case where, where he, he was in their employ because he was baking them, for them bread. Amalei Rabbanu Rapapa, Amai Pshia Babaylamu. This is a case of where he was negligent uh, and, 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 and the, the owner was working for them. He was baking bread for them. So Ichsif, Rapapa was embarrassed. Now, by the way, this Ptur, whether there's a Ptur of Baal of Imai, even in negligence, we're going to see that that's not so simple, that that's a machloikis. But at the end, Rapapa, although he was embarrassed, Rapapa was right. Hashem doesn't allow a tzaddik to make such a mistake. milsa. At the end, it was uh, revealed at the time that it was stolen, he wasn't working for them. He wasn't baking the bread. He was drinking beer in the bar. At that time, he didn't start baking for them. He was drinking beer at the bar, and therefore he wasn't in their uh, employ, and therefore they were chayif to pay. So the Gemara says, that's good, according to the Man Yama that says that even if the owner is in your employ, even if you're negligent, your potter. So that's why Rapapa initially was embarrassed. But if he hold that he was that you're chayev because Balavima doesn't exempt the case of negligence, then am I Why was he embarrassed? So the Gemara says it must be that the story was a little different. The story went as follows. Now, 
It wasn't his day. In other words, every day, a different member of the guild begged bread. It wasn't his day. The Amr Leila did day, but they asked him, Zil Afilan At, bake for us. So he said, you know what? If you'll watch my cloak, I'll bake for you. For the, for the, the price that I'm baking it for you, watch my cloak. Before he got back, finished breaking, Ignav, it got stolen. So also the Kamir Papa, they came before our Papa. He said, look, you, 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 uh, you were a Shem because he's baking the bread. So you're Chayim and Gnei V'Aveda, Chayim Inu. So I'm related to Rabbanu, 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 etc. Rabbanu, but it was Shmir of Babaylam. He was in their employ. Ha Shmir of Babaylam. So Ixav, he was embarrassed. At the end, it turned out that he wasn't yet working for them because when it got stolen, he was in the bar. So if you go to Milsa, the Yishata at that moment, Shikra Avashasi, he was drinking beer. Now, and by the way, I just want to tell everybody that after we finish the daf, we are going to be doing a chok tonight. It's not, a, it's, it's not as long as usual. It's a Friday chok. So instead of eight disciplines, it's only five disciplines. But amongst those five disciplines is the last parak of Mesechtas Pura. And that's not so easy. So, uh, so that's, that's tonight's adventure. We will be finishing the entire Mesechtas Pura tonight the next, uh, the sixth day of Piku day will be Mesechtas Yadayim. These are Mesechtas that a lot of people never learn in their lifetime. So it's really very interesting stuff. But anyway, that's, first we have to finish the daf before we get to the, to the Chok. Now, Hanu Beitrei, Dav Kamaske Be'orcha. Two people we're walking on the road. Interesting story. We get all the backward background story. This, this sounds like a, a Marshall Eddy story. Uh, it, really, it really does. So, there were two people walking on the road. One was tall and one was short. The tall guy was riding a donkey. Vahavale Sedina, and the tall guy was riding a donkey, and he had a linen garment. Gutza, the shorty, was Mikase Sarbala, he was wrapped up in a woolen garment, the Kamaske Bikare, and he was walking by on foot. Now, Kimote Lenara, they came through the water. Now, there was no room to give Shorty a ride. But Shorty was wearing wool, and wool gets soaked and heavy in the water. So what did he do? Shokle lesarbele, he took his wool cloak, ve ilve chamra, and he put it on the tall guy's donkey, and he didn't want to be cold, so veshokle lesedine dahu, he took the short, the tall guy's linen garment, ve and he covered himself with it. So remember what happened over here. He was walking with wool, and the tall guy was, had the linen. The, the, the shorty that was walking didn't want to get the wool wet, so he put the wool on the donkey, and he borrowed the linen garment from the tall guy. Of course, what happened was, is as he was walking in the water, with the linen garment, Shtufua Maya Lissadine. The water whipped away, swept away the linen garment. Now, at first glance, let's, let's see, how does this look? Let's just study it. At first glance, Shorty is a leva, is a borrower on the linen garment, and it was swept away. It's an oinus, and a borrower is Chayv Bainson. So you would say he was Chayv. And that's what the Gemara tells us. Also, they're coming to Rava. They came before Rava. Chayve! And Rava said, look, you borrowed the linen garment. It got swept away. That's an oinus. A shayil is chayv for oinsim. 
So Yechai, the problem is, but wasn't the tall guy in his employ because he was carrying his woolen garment and, and watching it on his donkey. Amalei Rabban Rava she'ela babalam hu. So Ichsif, Rava was embarrassed. L'saif igloi milsa, at the end it was revealed the beloi daite shakle, that Shorty took the woolen garment without permission. He snatched it off his back. And the beloi daite oisre, and he put it on the donkey without permission. So first of all, he's a ganif. And a ganif is chayif to pay even if baal of imai. And secondly, he put it on without permission. And therefore, that's why Shorty has to pay for the linen garment. Now, this is a case we had before. We had, we had this case in Kedushin. Um, not in, Kedu, in, Kedu, not in Kedushin, in Ksuvis. So, how What happened was, is I rented a donkey to Marshall. I'm away, and I told Marshall, listen here, Marshall. Chazi, see to it that loy tezel be'urcha de nar pocket. I don't want you to take the animal on the beach of nar pocket, because on the beach of nar pocket, uh, the the water is very, very fierce, there's uh, waves, and my animal could get swept away. Zil ba'urcha de narish, go on the road of narish, the lekamaya, there's no water over there. So what happened was, is ozel ben urcha de nar pocket, he, marshal, being marshal, he goes, by the way of nar pocket, omeis kamra, and the donkey dies. So Kiyos, when Marshall comes back, sans donkey, Omar, I said, Marshall, where's my donkey? So he said, don't tell me you went on Nar pocket. So Marshall says, in, Be'urcha de Nar pocket, Oslai. I went by Nar pocket. Omiya lekemaya, but there was no water there. The animal had a heart attack. There was no water there. So comes Rava, and Rava incredibly sides with Marshall. Marshall has a migu. I don't know whether he went by Narpukit or Narish. So Marshall says, Mali Lashaka, why would I lie? I could have said I went by the way of Narish. And you wouldn't know any better. So I should be believed to say that I went by Narpukit, but there was no water. Amale Rava, Mali Lashaka, he has a migu. Why would he lie? He could have said, since nobody could prove otherwise, he could have said, I followed the instructions. And it was an inus. However, Abayah says, you can't do that. Very interesting. Abayah says, Migu is not stronger than an Anan Sadeh. Everybody knows that by Nar pocket there's always water. So it's like this Adam that there was water there. Amigu doesn't help against Adam. Amale, Abaya, Mali, Lashakar, Amigu, Bimakayim, Adam against witnesses. It's like witnesses are there because it's an Amsade that by Nar pocket is always water. It's like saying that Marshall says, I went by Niagara Falls, but there was no water. And then we thought, well, that's Marshall, you know. Right? Went by Ni- Niagara Falls, but would you believe it? There was no water. Well, so much fell, there was none left. Mali the Shaka, but Now, next case in the Mishnah. Shmurli, I, uh, Marshall says, excuse me, I say to Marshall, Shmurli, watch it for me. The Amalai, and he says, Hanach Lefonai. Put it before me, Shaymachinam. Amma Ravuna, Amaloi Hanach Lefanecha. I say, I say, I say to Marshall, will you watch it for me? So Marshall says, put it in front of you. And I always go jump in the lake. Amaloi Hanach Lefanecha, put it in front of you. Ain't a Loi Shaymachinam, Loi Shaymachinam. 
He's not a watchman at all because he's saying no. <laughs> put it in front of yourself. Take care of yourself, mister. Uh, what if he says put it down? He doesn't say put it down in front of me. He doesn't say put it down in front of you. He says put it down. Ibayalu Hanuk Stamamai. He just says put it down. The classic Marsha. So the Gemara says, well, Tajma Shmoli, Vamalai Hanak Lufanai. If I said watch it for me, and he says put it down in front of me, Shaimachin, doesn't that imply if he just says Hanak it's nothing? Hostam of Alaiklum says the Gemara Adarabah, we just said, Midam Ravuna. If he says, put it in front of yourself, that's where they know like Shemachin of like Shemachin. Mashma, stomach, but if he just says, Hanach, Shemachin of Avi is a Shemach. Since we have contra- contrary implications, we cannot deduct it from here. Rather, the Gemara wants to say, let's say this question is actually a Machloikis Tanoi. This is the case where Marshall has an, a, a courtyard and I have an animal. So if Marshall says, bring in the animal and it was damaged in Marshall's courtyard, uh, Marshall is chayv. Rabbi Eimer Rabbi says, no. If he says bring it in, it means bring it in at your own risk. Rabbi Yaimer Bekulon ain't a chayiv, Marshall is not chayiv, Achi Yekabal Allah Balabai Lishma. Until he says that, I'm going to watch it. So the Chayiv the Gemara wants to say that the Tanakhama says that Hanach is like Hanach and I will watch it. While Rebbe says, Hanach is just bring it in, but not that I'll watch it. Says, you remember my, no, who says one is not dependent on the other? The only reason why the Rabbanan hold that Marshall is going to be Chayiv, that's only a courtyard. That a courtyard is a safe place. And therefore, when he says, bring it in, it means that, bring it in, and I'll keep it safe. But over here, the marketplace is not a safe place. So, if Marshall says, put it down, well, it means put it down and you better watch it. When Marshall said put it down, it means put it down and make sure to sit here and guard it because it's not a safe place. Or it could be the other way around. The only time Rebbe says that when Marshall says Come into the courtyard. I cannot come, Rabbi Hassan El Bechatzerai, because you can't. I can't come in at all into Marshall's courtyard without permission. So when he says come in, it just means he's giving me permission. To get permission to come in, I need to get to enter. I need to get permission. So therefore, when he says come in, it just means enter. Therefore, we assume always the minimum. When he gave me permission to come in, to come in. Tiv, come in. But watch it. Come in at your own risk. But over here, it's in, in the Rishus Arabim. If he says Hanach, what does Hanach mean? I don't need his permission to put it down. It's a Rishus Arabim. It must be for me, mean, Hanach v'anom intra kamalei. Put it down and I'll guard it. Because if it just means put it down, do I need permission from him to put it down in the Rishus Arabim? 
If it means that Rabbi Ice put it down and sit and watch it, then what do I need to ask his permission? If I to put it down, do I have to ask him permission? Obviously, therefore, it means when he says put it down, it means to put it down and I will watch it. So it's no, you can't con- uh, prove one way or the other. We'll stop over here, Rabbi Isai, uh, tomorrow night again at approximately 8.40, uh, whenever we finish Svira. If we get to, it really depends how long the Mishnayimus takes, whether I say Svira or not. Don't forget it's the 27th day of the Svira. We're going to learn now a Chok, uh, and... Uh, we welcome, by the way, Larry Tachinsky and Richard Rosenzweig, who joined us. Uh, have a good evening, everyone.